Namaste, Namaste everyone. Very warm welcome to Satsang today. Satguru Shri Muji Baba Ki Jai. Yeah. If father is not feeling well, request you all to remind him to keep the meeting short <laughs> and rest. Maybe we can limit the questions today. Galaxy Note 6. Thank you, Galaxy. <laughs> I feel actually a lot better today than yesterday. I have the best news. Beyond even good news. The greatest being, the Supreme Lord, is here. It is you. And you. All our judgments are only about ourselves. And we use these judgments to pretend to be something that we can never be. Many times I get uh, messages on Facebook and these messages on Facebook, they tell me, but why don't you include the person in everything? Why don't you include the person? Why are you always saying there is no person? Why don't you just include the person? And these days I started responding by saying, I would include it if I could find it. <laughs> tell me what I should include. Let's be completely inclusive. Let's include this body in the self. Let's include everybody in the self. Let's just write his bodies. Let's include every object in the self. Let's include this time and space continuum in the self. Let's include our emotions, sensations, thoughts. Include everything in the self. Everything which is manifest, everything which is phenomenal, let's include that. And 
let's include our very existence, I am. Let's not even stop there. Let's include that which is aware even of this existence, that primal seeing, that awareness, the absolute unchanging. Let's include that. At which point did we meet the person? We included everything. Did at some point we meet this entity called person? The one that is interested in freedom? Didn't include, didn't find. Even as imagination, we don't even have a clear image of this person. This imagination of the body we have, this projection of consciousness that we call the body, but the body wants nothing at all, has no desire, no aversion. That's why I say that we love to be in denial of what is. God is here and we love to be in denial of that. And we love to pick up that idea that just isn't. And we bought into this notion of providing validation to that which just isn't. This is how consciousness is playing. And as part of the play in our consciousness is reminding itself of its own truth. But the hypnosis is so deep that what we call the real world is actually just this notion of separation, which is never real. We say that, oh, when I leave satsang and I go to the real world, the world is the same. One being, one appearance in being. No person has ever, ever lived here. There is only one self, and this one self is all there is. If there were ever two, then this one could not be all there is. <clears throat> then this one must only be this one and the other must be the remaining. So 
So how do we get to this point? Not how do we get to the point of truth, because the point of truth is already here. If all that you hear in satsang today is this, it is enough. That the point of truth is already here, it is now. This being is fully present. as your own manifest aspect and you are aware of this. There is nobody here <coughs> who is unaware of their existence. Why? Because I am aware of my existence. And this I is the only one. It is within my existence. Is this play of Ananta and Shanti and Akash and Charanya. All is part of my existence. I am the one unchanging self. <clears throat> so how do I play this game of individual pretense? Play this game. I need labels, I need notions. In my experience of myself, as even this manifest world, I don't play with separation. In the pure experience of myself, even in the arising of this manifest world, I don't experience separation. But I can pretend. I can look at one aspect of the appearance and give it a name. I can pretend as if something is separate in that name, in that form. But it is not my experience. You are only experiencing yourself. I feel like this map example is very good. One sheet of paper, no separation. You draw some lines on it, still one sheet of paper. With various appearances. Then we start to label them and believe that those lines are those labels. India, Asia, Europe, America. Canada. But that piece of paper is still that one piece of paper. Just because we put a hundred notions on it, no separation has ever actually happened. So if you start by believing that you are India and then you want to be feel one with the rest of the world, that is not going to happen because you started with the false. You 
you, you start by believing that you are an individual and then you want to be one with the rest it's never going to happen just don't pick up the mask to begin with show me where there are two without making a distinction for me to <coughs> and it is apparent to all of you that all of this is only experienced within you so it is more natural to recognize this oneness because it is just ever present and it is hard work terribly hard work to play with this pretend separation and now you are tired of this world presumably that's why you are in such a who are you now not looking for an answer just looking for the looking one that wants freedom where is that one the one that got it where is that one the one that has little more to go where is that one
the one that just has to remember this now where is that one mythical isn't it there is only one light shining in this entire universe and this light is what you call i am i said the other day that the mind has only one trick and even this mind shines in the light of the same i am but it is designed just to have this one trick to convince you that this boundless being has a tiny boundary for the body to convince you that that which is all there is want something to convince you that you are subject to time and space not the other way around to convince you that you live in the light of the sun whereas the truth is that even the sun appears only in your light even darkness appears in your light what are you what can contain you where did you come from where will you go have you ever lost yourself that now that you are trying to find it have you lost yourself lose yourself actually just lose yourself don't be just don't be aware who did it even in your full pretense of individuality did you lose your real self not possible the self cannot be lost therefore it cannot be found this game of hide and see <coughs> lost and found is not about the self okay suppose this morning we woke up and decided today we are going to find the self yeah so there must be you first to decide that which you is that one find that one and you find the self before you can pick up the idea of undertaking any adventure 
you have to be there. Which one is that? Which one woke up this morning? Which one was asleep? Which one had a dream? Is there something constant between all these states? The clues are everywhere. <laughs> the clues are everywhere. By reading now something that Saint Augustine had written. Saint Augustine had written in his book called Confessions. Let me see. Quickly, I can find it. Happening today. <laughs> <laughs> you had another delicate return. So, Saint Augustine said, "But how shall I call call upon my God?" my God and Lord. For when I call on him, I ask him to come into myself. And what room is there in me where my God can come? God, who made heaven and earth. Is there anything in me, O Lord, my God, that can contain you? Indeed, do heaven and earth which you have made and in which you made me contain you? Or since nothing could exist without you, does every existing thing contain you? I repeat this. Or since nothing could exist without you, does every existing thing contain you? Why then do I ask that you come into me, since I too exist? I, who could not exist if you were not in me. Why do I say this? Because even if I were in hell, yet you would be there also. For if I go down into hell, you are there. I could not exist then, oh, oh my God, could not exist at all unless you were in me. Or should I not rather say I could not exist unless I were in you, from whom all things, by whom are all things, and in whom are all things. Even so, Lord, even so, where do I call you to come since I am in you? Or whence can you enter into me? Or where beyond heaven and earth could I go that my God might come there into me? He who has said, I fill the heaven and the earth. Just been noting down some of these verses, and the next one also could be useful to read. This is a beautiful verse.
called the Mool Mantra by Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji. He has said, there is but one and only one God and his existence is eternal. He alone is the creator of all there is. He is not afraid of anybody or anything, nor does he have enmity towards anyone. He never dies. His form is timeless and he is self-existent. He is unborn and free from incarnation. One can realize him only through the grace of the Guru. Okay, last one, if you indulge me in one more. This is from the Ganeshwari. The Lord says, although I am formless, without limiting conditions, beyond the qualities, changeless and all pervasive, ignorant people ascribe to me form, limitations, actions, qualities, and place. Although I am unmanifest, desireless, and devoid of doership and experiencership, they think of me as manifest, full of desire, agent, and enjoyer. They impute to me hands and feet, eyes and ears, caste and family, although I do not possess them. Even though I am self-existent, they make idols of me and install them with proper rites of consecration. And though I am all-pervading, they invite me with an invocation and bid farewell to me with an immersion. They worship an idol as a form of divinity and later throw away the broken idol as worthless. Thus they impute to me human attributes. So what is that which is self-existent? Which means exist without any other support. From your experience, what is that which exists unsupported? Self-existent. Is this world your basis? So the world has to be and then you can be. Or is your existence primary to the appearance of this dream that we call the world? And if God is the light of this world, then what must you be? Oh. 
are you really saying that there is god and me maybe you are saying that there is a god but this god is i am a part of it or maybe there is like a what is called in business an arms length relationship <laughs> arms length relationship what is the distance between you and your existence what is the distance between you and that which is aware of everything is it aware of itself Okay, Saru says, "Father, I have to speak." One second, yeah. Now. Namaste, Father. Namaste, <laughs> Namaste, my dear. I'm happy to be with you, <laughs> with Same all of you. And in fact, I don't know what to say, but um, I, I, I am, I am blessed <laughs> in so many ways, and I cannot fathom. I don't know anything. it's just unbelievable yeah. everything is unbelievable <laughs> yes you cannot fathom what you are tasting about yourself you see yes And that's why it goes into this like emptiness and yet you exist and you continue to taste your beauty your magnificence and yet because we got used to referring to the mind about a report about ourselves it is just saying i don't know what's going on <laughs> what's going on is it and yet yes there's a sense of wonder there's a beautiful sense of joy and yet you cannot even use these terms because the mind has been using them for different things you see Yes, somehow yes, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If now I I start to think it's lost somehow. I don't know. I just have to be here and so, I'm here. So if it is being together now, think, think and lose it. In fact, I cannot lose anything, even when I think. Yeah. Uh, it's just that I I. if i insist on being uh, sticky with some thoughts or emotions then i just become not fuzzy i don't know how to say hey you don't actually, you don't actually even become but you just put on the mask yes exactly yeah. yes and then I come back because um, where I <laughs> what I, you I mean, <laughs> we always come back to what we are yes yes that's why this is not is even a come it's not even a coming back it's a, a i don't know or maybe we can say it's a coming back i don't know yeah. both <laughs> yes <laughs> 
Yeah. I don't know from where I speak now. I mean, there's no place, no, no, nothing. No location of anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very good news. Mm -hmm. It's so awesome to be human. I mean, everybody should, should be here. Everybody should see this, to discover this. Yes. Everybody is. Yes. As, as you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. So much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to mute me because I, I'm not willing to leave, I don't know, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> How was the waiting for this to happen? <laughs> <laughs> how 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 is the waiting happening? Just like this. You see? Just like this, the waiting is happening. You're waiting. I'm waiting. Let's see when the hand moves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for being in satsang today. Sadhguru Shri Moji Baba Ki Jai! Sadhguru Shri Moji Ki Jai! Shai, do you want to come and say bye to everyone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you saying hello? <laughs>